Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. When we last left off, we were uh, continuing to work on uh, a lot of side quests, if I remember correctly. Let's jump back in and see where we're at. The King of the Wild Hunt sailed aboard the Nagel Fair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm trying to remember. The last thing I might have done was finish up Skellige. I think that is the last thing that we did. So beautiful to see that Skellige map completed. Hey, Orange. Hey, Ognico. Oh, actually, no. Oh, that's right. We we did Skellige, and then we came here to Kaer Morhen, and I think we completed this. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Even further than I remembered. Okay, so let's take a look at our quest list. We have our main quest, Child of the Elder Blood, to go and see what Avalok's up to in his secret laboratory, and then battle preparations for the final battle. Uh, secondary quest, we just got the DLC one. Witcher contracts, we still have that missing brother one from the beginning, and the creature in Oxenford Forest. And then our treasure hunts. We got some bear school gear. Two bear school, two wolf school, one griffin school. And that's it. Let's do the bear school one. Find the steel sword upgrade diagram using your witcher senses. Okay, where is that one? Not here in Kaer Morhen. Alright, let's go hit up the... Um, Fast travel. <laughs> Not enough quests. I know, it's so strange. And Caramorin continues to be my favorite place. <laughs> well, if the missing brother wasn't dead when you got the quest, he is by now. I'm pretty sure he was dead. And uh, if he is, or if he wasn't when I first grabbed it, and he is now, well, it's not my fault. He didn't give me a time limit. He just said I needed to do the thing. Did I find the green house here? Uh, I don't believe so. That doesn't ring any bells. Oh, wait. Where are we going? Getting confused. That's what I'm doing. I'm going a little too far. I often get tricked by this game. Because, oh, hello, bear. Um, well, I guess we're fighting. Well, actually, are they gonna leave me alone? They're just being territorial. Oh, no. I was gonna say, they're just being territorial. Never mind, they wanna kill me. But, anyways, what I was saying is, I often get confused on this game because. It's got so much packed into it that I always just in my head assume that the world is way bigger than it is, but it's not actually that big of a world. It's just jam packed with stuff. So I'll be like over here and I'm like, all right, I need to run up here. And I'll think like, oh, that's probably like 10 minutes. And it's not, it's like 40 seconds. Uh, all right, so world map, it's in Velen. And this place near, huh. I must have passed that by and never looked inside. Near Downworn. The King of the Wild Hunt sailed aboard the Nagel Fair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap. There's a place with a storm that grew the herbs and stuff you need. Interesting. I have no idea where that is. Feel free to drop a hint. Or just straight up tell us, that's also fine. Uh, 
Normally I like to explore and find stuff on my own, but in this case I've kind of been everywhere. So unless it's in the DLC area, we, we just kind of overlooked it. Hey Victoria, good to see you. He didn't last long. Oh, that's a whole family of drowners. The heck? What is that? Oh, it's a foglet. It looks different for some reason. Right, where's the mist? Oh, hello, mist. This place definitely never went to before. What is that? Is that a cyclops? Right, no, nope, that is an earth elemental. Oh, that might be what's happening with my explody shield. I think I'm holding it for like literally a fraction of a second and that's triggering the explosion thing, because I can do that and force it. Maybe that's what's going on. Oh, I think people were saying the opposite, unless I was just misunderstanding. The mystery might be solved. How many times do I think Seth has played the new DLC for RE4? Too many. Far too many. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Right, for some reason, I didn't see the sword diagram. Where is it hiding? Oh, there it is. Alright, that completes that quest. Scavenger hunt, bear school, gear upgrade diagrams. Well, I think it's time we go and see what avalok has been up to. So, Child of the Elder Blood. Siri pulled Geralt aside for a confidential heart-to-heart. She confided to him that Avalok had a hidden lair, a secret place that not even Ciri, his star pupil and long time traveling companion, had been allowed to visit. Intrigued, Geralt decided to enter this secret lair and find out what the seer was hiding. The most important part of any conspiracy is for the co-conspirators to trust each other fully, and Ciri's revelation had cast a shadow of suspicion on Avalok. Geralt knew light must be shed on this shadow before it proved too late. So travel to the island where Avalok's laboratory is located. We found that a long time ago. And now we're finally going to be able to get inside somehow. So we are off to Skellige. To the Paligap Coast. Elders say an isolated cave on this coast was once used as a retreat by the world's most famous bard. Before the rise of Dandelion, that is. The great Zerdna of Zangbar, known from the Zaire to the Dragon Mountains for his ferocious loot strumming. <laughs> he's, he's shredding. The king of the Wild Hunt sailed aboard the Nagel Fair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aroden into a trap. I think Dimitri's right. I don't think I actually have that ability, but maybe I do. I was just trying to get points at one point. It's fine though, now that I know what's happening. I just like, I, it's kind of weird that it would trigger so, with so little hold time. 
But as long as I just just tap it really quick, it should be fine. Oh, does he have guardians I'm gonna have to fight? something interesting inside how will you lift the barrier atlan kirk's inclusion should do the trick remember the spell i remember you teaching me and to think i thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time now now this is no time to get soppy so any incriminating letters closets full of skeletons We've not even opened the door yet it's a highly complex magic barrier let's try it Yatta Ligon! We've awoken the sentry. I'll take care of you. I knew it. Uh, let's see. I want elemental oil. Oh, series fighting too. That's awesome. Uh, do, do, do. Where's my elemental oil again? There it is. Oh, that's right, I got enhanced for this. Siri, you can solo him easily. Why am I even here? Only one? By this dude. Come. Huh. Guess Avalok's not the greatest at making sentries. Pretty cozy. Doesn't look much like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hmm. <laughs> really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. All right, what else do we have? Is Avalok, Avalok creeping? Paranther's progress. Paranther is undoubtedly the most skilled navigator I have ever had the chance to train. Yet his rash temper and his tendency to take foolish risks has called into question the possibility of ever using him for our purposes. I know Aridin is ready to put him through his trials now, or through the trials now, which Caranther, in his pride, would surely take as a sign of trust, and not indifference. The fate of his predecessor clearly was not warning enough for him, or perhaps he truly does not have much faith in his own powers. In light of the time I have devoted to him, I would like Caranther to succeed. Didn't know he had a sweet tooth. What'd you find, Yen? It seems someone was literally just here. An assistant, maybe? Avalak's assistant, maybe? No. Somehow it doesn't seem like Avalak to have one. Hmm, a distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Feel 
like I've walked into somebody's bedroom. Genealogical chart of the Enhanikir, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me. You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the paths of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. Only analyzed? He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Lara's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. That didn't seem very reassuring. Let's look at his notes. Let's look at his notes. Gods. He spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Siri. But it's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ceres, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalach never got that far. Apparently all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the Wild Hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. I'll find something even more interesting. Alright, what else do we have in here? Someone's here. Well, I'm not done looking around. Hmm. I'll sure know their fragrances. Perhaps this was not a good idea after all. Let's see what Avalux really can. Who's here? I see nobody. Oh, here we go. Get in here. We mean no harm. We mean you no harm. I care not at all why you're here. Get out. You. I remember you. From Tirnalia. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. For example? Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. 
I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Another word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? He that important to you? Avalok means that much to you. What's that got to do with anything? If they despise me so, they should leave me be. Siri. What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will because I'd really like to now. Calm down. Calm down. The elf was right. Uh, aren't you supposed to cheer me up? You carry Lara's gene. Nothing you can do about it. Inherited her talent and her power, too. That she elf would give up a century of her life to be you. It certainly didn't seem so. You were born with a great gift, and only you can decide how to use it. What's that? A necklace. Laura Doran's. It's beautiful, but... Yours, to wear. Let's go. I'm sick of this place. Well, that did not turn out the way I expected. I thought for sure Avalok was doing something shady, but we just found his girlfriend or whatever to insult Siri and make her angry. Actually, you know what? Before I leave, I want to see if I can take anything from that bedroom. <laughs> Insult my daughter, will you? I take your stuff. What do you got in here? Oh, nothing. Oh, wait. What's this? Tales and legends about humans. Talaith and the Evil Witch. No one in all of Tirnalia knew how to help Talaith remove the evil spell cast upon her brother. Overwhelming despair clouded her judgment and she went to see an old witch. She forgot the sage's warning that the old woman's heart was black as pitch and foul as carrion crawling with maggots. The old witch lived in a cage in the wastes surrounded by poisonous vapors and venomous vipers and toads. Talaith went there, even though her pure heart cried out for her to turn back. As she approached the cave, she smelled an odor so terrible she almost fainted. She had no idea what it was, for she had never been near a human before. She overcame her disgust, thinking all the while about her brave brother, and asked the witch for help. And what will you give me in return, my dear elf? Screeched the witch. Anything you ask. Give me your voice, my dear elf, and I'll lift Liad's curse. Talaith thought about how she used to sing lullabies to her little brother and began to cry, but she gave the witch her beautiful voice all the same. The old woman grabbed it in her crooked talons like a small silver fish and tossed it to her cat. Now give me your hair, my dear elf. Only then will I lift your brother's curse. 
Talaith sobbed but agreed, and the witch wove a thick net from her hair and hung it from the trees in order to catch birds. Now give me your eyes, my dear elf, or I'll never lift Liad's curse. Talaith loved her brother very much and so gave the witch her green eyes, and the witch sewed them onto her dirty dress like precious stones for ornament, and she started to laugh. Only then did Talaith understand that the witch would never lift Liad's curse, and all her sacrifices had been for nothing. But she could no longer cry. Oh, how she regretted not having listened to the sages, who tell so many tales of human treachery. Talaith was petrified with regret, but her pure heart continued beating. When the old woman bent over her book of spells, Talaith's green eyes read along with her, and in this way, Talaith learned it was the witch who had put the curse on her brother Liad. She read along with the witch further until she learned how to lift the curse. And so she caught fat robins with the net the witch had woven from her hair and fed them to the witch's cat. Purring with, de er, purring with delight, the cat agreed to follow her back to Tir Nalia, where it told the sages the whole story about Talaith's stolen voice, and they recognized that it was true. The evil spells cast on Liad and Talaith were reversed, and the evil witch was drawn and quartered. Well, no wonder she doesn't like humans. Look what she's been reading. I guess she just took off. She's not even here anymore. Alright, so, meet Siri outside the laboratory. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindusfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... What is it? Siri. Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. Yeah, I'll go with you. I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindisfjall? I can. Let's go, Siri. Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm-hmm. See you. Let's look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Let's look together. Let's look around together. Come on. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. I think the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Uh, bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night.
What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skial. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defy our laws. Your laws don't bind us. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The wild hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofferton to ash? What would the specters be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Hey. None will disturb it. Desecrating graves. Well, it's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said. Can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. You've no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go. Together. Back to the boat. Mm hmm. All right, so we actually completed two quests there. Let's take a look. So first was Child of the Elder Blood. Uh, Siri pulled Geralt aside for a confidential heart-to-heart. -heart. She confided in him that Avalok had a hidden lair, a secret place that not even Siri, his star pupil and long time traveling companion had been allowed to visit. Intrigued, Geralt decided to enter this secret lair and find out what the seer was hiding. The most important part of any conspiracy is for the co-conspirators to trust each other fully, and Ciri's revelation had cast a shadow of suspicion on Avalok. Geralt knew light must be shed on this shadow before it proved too late. It turned out Avalok's well-guarded secret was a hidden laboratory in which he carried out research on Laura Donin's, or Laura Doran's gene. The gene Ciri bore within her, the cause of her power and her misfortune. Siri was understandably less than thrilled to see herself through Avalok's eyes as a subject in some twisted experiment. Meanwhile, they also discovered this secret research wasn't the only reason the seer kept the place hidden. Avalok seemed to have been using it as a pleasure alcove for trysts with his elven lover. Uh, who would have who or who would have thought? It turns out even the wisest of sage, uh, sages is not always driven by pure reason alone. <coughs> I'm choking over here. <clears throat> All right. So then, we have Skell's grave. When Ciri and Geralt reached Hendersfjall, Ciri mentioned she wished to visit someone very special to her, a young man named Skjall who had helped her flee the wild hunt. Yennefer and Geralt exchanged grim looks and gave Ciri the tragic news. Skjall was dead. Fighting back tears, Ciri announced she was going to visit his grave. It turned out brave Skjall was not treated with the respect he deserved after his death. His body was thrown in a ditch like a rotting animal carcass. Offended to her very core, Ciri pulled his corpse out of the ditch and buried it with Geralt's help near the cemetery. This violation of custom aroused the disgust and outrage of nearby Skelligers, to whom Skjall was a disgraced outcast. Ciri remained intransigent and refused to give any ground to local sensibilities. All in all, it was an unfortunate incident that could have been handled more, hmm, delicately. All right, so we're on to battle preparations. Thanks to Triss and Yennefer's hard work, Ciri's team of defenders now had two more outstanding sorceresses in its ranks and the prospect of gaining yet another. With this, our heroes were ready to face the wild hunt, but to bring Aridin to their world and cut off his escape route, they also needed an elven artifact known as the Sunstone. 
The team set off for Skellige Isles to finish their final tasks before their final battle. Uh, let me go ahead and make a save here. Just in case we need to come back for any reason. Alright, we should be all set. Watch your strut. Around your laboratory. I never doubted you would. But why did you? You might have just asked me. To hear you reveal all about your experiments with the Elder Blood gene? Unlikely. I've hidden nothing that could be useful in our struggle against Eredith. As regards the Elder Blood, you're all aware Ciri is exceptional. I am alone only in knowing to what extent. Or maybe you're just obsessed with her. I'm obsessed. I'm surprised she confronted him. Geralt. So long. Thanks, Yen. I'm gonna talk to see Siri. See if she has anything new to say. She looks rather upset. Got a minute? Of course. Or uh, not. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. Yes, Geralt. Say we use the Sunstone, what then? Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Aridin won't figure things out? I doubt he'll think the Elves of the White Fleet suddenly long to see him. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstone. Unlikely Aridin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. There are others? Great. Now mind telling me why I had to scour Skellige looking for this one? The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. Went by your laboratory. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, Elder Blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. Ran into someone at your lab. Maybe this is all about Laura for you. I believe you. Ran into someone at your lab. Ran into someone at your lab. Did you know? Mm hmm. A she elf. Claimed you hate Siri. So, how's that fit you trying to protect her, whatever the cost? Not at all. You don't really expect me to confess my feelings to you, do you? Everything's ready. We can go to Unvuk. We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Flea. As legend has it, she never used the stone, and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. Taking care of everything. Ready when you are. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. <laughs> really? It looks like you started without me. Really? Seems to me you'd started already. We were discussing questions of a magic nature. Nothing of great interest to you. Right. Because I'm just a simple witcher. Don't worry. Simplicity has a charm all its own. You are about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. 
The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it, with your help, naturally. Okay. And you, what are you gonna do? What about you? Where will you be? Waiting in reserve. If something goes wrong, I shall react. Hmm. Like a general commanding troops from a hilltop? Gonna signal us by horn or use messengers? Exquisite irony, but what did I do to deserve it? Have I given you cause to doubt my intentions? Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters. We must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Plan's missing one important element. What about Siri? Cyril will wait, at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Guessing this wasn't Siri's idea. Wild guess. Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. Got no right to give her orders. Don't have the right to order her around. Amusing. Jirel said the same thing, only at much higher volume. I do, in fact, have this right, for only I know how to activate the Sunstone, which I shall do on my terms, or not at all. Tyrell recognized the strength of my argument. I have no doubt you'll do the same. Tyrell, do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The elder blood can be fiery. Forbidding Siri from doing things is pointless. Telling Siri she can't do something is counterproductive. Speaking from experience there. Ultimately she does what she wants. Let us hope. Pardon me? Never mind. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats amongst the soldiers. Why are you here? To see you. Something happened? Not yet, but it might soon. We may not survive this. In fact, our chances are slim. True. Things could get rough. Well, we are here to battle Aridin and the Wild Hunt at full strength. Could be like Sodden. Could be worse. Nothing could be worse than Sodden was. Listen to me. Once it's over, if we survive, I wish to leave, go far away, and I'd like you to come with me. Where? Wherever. To Povis, beyond the Dragon Mountains, Zeracania even. As far as possible from politics, plots, and so-called high society. You drop in politics? That'll be the day. You? Dropping plots and politics for good? You're in your element in that world. It's your life. Time to start in you. I'll believe it when I see it. Even now you're up to your neck in it. Yes, but only to set matters straight. To be able to withdraw having retained the upper hand. What then? A small secluded hut with a flower garden to tend to? Why not if that is what you dream of? We shall leave together. Go where we please, do whatever strikes our fancy. So, coming with? Of course I'll go. I'd go 
anywhere with you. The answer I was hoping for. Go, Geralt. Avalaka waits. And don't get killed, Witcher. Alright, talk to Avalok when you're ready to fight. We got a quest on thin ice, so we completed battle preparations. Let's take a look at that. Uh, thanks to Triss and Yennefer's hard work, series team of defenders now had two more outstanding sorceresses in its ranks and the prospect of gaining yet another. With this, our heroes were ready to face the wild hunt, but to bring Arid into their world and cut off his escape route, they also needed an elven artifact known as the Sunstone. The team set off for the Skellige Isles to finish their final tasks before their final battle. In short order, Geralt had found the Sunstone, secured the sorceress for Angela Vigo's assistance, and prepared Ciri to face Aridin once more. The time had come to fight the wild hunt. Alright, and then we've got On Thin Ice. Every story, even the longest epic, must end, and so this one too now nears its conclusion. Geralt and his friends had acquired the Sunstone and secured the help of Fringilla Vigo. In other words, the long and dangerous process of preparing was over at last, and everything was in place for the final battle against the Wild Hunt. All that remained was to summon the Nagalfar to the shores of Unvuk and straight into their trap. All right, what do, what do we got here? The wild Hunt. Apparently they're reading up before the battle. El Hertzab. Warren Hertzab. Okay. Barbarians. I know where we are. See, are they gonna care if I take this stuff? They are gonna care. Alright, fine, fine. No reason to kill all the Nilf Guardians before the final battle. I can't take this though. Flashes must stay close to shore, ring formation, continuous bombardment. Alright, have a lock. Uh, actually, let me sell first. There's a smith here. Hello, quartermaster. Are you here to spy or haggle? Let me see what you got. Show me what you're battling. Oh, he doesn't have much. Well, sell him what I got. That was the Witcher armor. That's actually pretty good. We'll hang on to that. That's medium. That's medium. Sell that. That. Oh, he's already out? Jeez. Just started. Alright, so this? Nope, we can't buy that either. Useless! Oops. Alright, well. I guess I'll sell him these. Why not? See ya. So long. 
Might as well check this building. Nothing. Alright, I believe I'm all set. Let's do this, Avala. Actually, hold on, let me look on this boat. Is this our boat? Barbarians. Okay, not our boat. Yeah, they probably see me do that. All right, I believe we're ready. So, Geralt, ready? We can start. Let's get these bastards. With pleasure, Geralt. With pleasure. Give you my heart. What kind of spell is that? It's an old love letter. Ancient. As I said, this stone was to reunite a pair of lovers. Never thought I'd say anything of the sort to Eredin. En verilith serenad, Ada Eich Blaine Idone. Elven bauble worked. They approach. Still. It's a trap. We must flee. Now. Not this time. No, see there. You are not ready. You do not control your powers. I'll manage. Silly. Get out of my way. Silly! The ice. It's a spell. You must find the mage who cast it. Destroy his staff. I'll not stop with his staff.
Let's go! Oh my god! <laughs> She's one-shotting. Alright, Siri is slightly powerful. <laughs> that dude hit me and did literally zero damage. I think he took off a sliver. <laughs> I regained it back. Yeah, let's just go murder Aridin right now. Oh, I'm supposed to be. All right, I was just having so much fun mowing all these dudes down. I forgot I'm supposed to be moving. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm on the move. I don't even need to bother with these fools. Let's just go. <laughs> you guys actually think you're gonna stop her? Good freaking luck. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, do you now? Oh, well, he can actually take a hit. He still has no chance. Geralt's turn. Oh, got projectiles. Oh, that slows me down a lot. Here we go. Violent. Oh, ow. All right, hold on. Swallow, help me out. For some reason, those didn't hurt me. Look 
out for that. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Swallow. No! Use a ham sandwich. That's the key. Right, you know what? I'm just going to keep going for him. Screw his little pets. I don't care. I don't care. No one cares about your pet. Ah, dang it. Alright, maybe we do care. Come here. He's dying it anyway. It's not so simple. I don't know where that came from. That is so annoying. No. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, I didn't get there quick enough. Oh, his projectiles hurt his body. Good. I can just, yeah, I don't even need to fight those. He'll eventually just kill them himself. Where is he? Yeah, summon them all you want, I don't care. <laughs> it's so hard to hit though. Good thing I've had all this practice swimming. It's a long way to go.
Alright, we gotta go. Now's our chance! Bjorni! Have you seen Siri? She was with your health! You'll not control our place. Two things. in the sea. You only live. What was it? Uh Erden, I think, that closes these. No? Guess not. Oh, I did. Okay, good. What's this guy doing? You're not even fighting! Ah, uh, they're just sending in more. Alright, I'm just gonna go. Oh, you guys are losing badly too. Alright. We're leaving. I got Yalmar with me. Uh -huh. A great warrior. Bloody hell! Which ones? Who are we to shoot at? Whoever the fuck you have in your sights! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? There, buddy. Demonstration on how to kill them. Oh, somebody behind me? Alright, whatever. We're gonna keep going. No returning. Can I take damage? I think I literally can't do damage to them. All right, keep going then. You guys have fun. Leads with the kick, what a jerk. Ha, I get parried. Oh yeah, you able to handle this? I guess you are. You 
may be good, Aridin, but you don't have the power of ham sandwich. Ow. Man, that like teleport kick is so nasty. I think like the moment he teleports, I have to be dodging. That. Yeah. All right. There we go. I got. I got you now. I got your number. One trick pony. What's he up to? Well, that's probably not good to get hit by. from that. Left yourself wide open. <laughs> I have so much health. really hit hard. Just hits, like, attacks frequently. He blocks like crazy. Oh, he's blocking all of it. Ow. Ow. I need more ham sandwich. I'm losing my edge. Oh, I got him as he teleported. Now, I wonder if I could break his block with heavy attacks. I haven't actually tried that because usually it sucks. Let's see. Nah, it's no good. Like you're doing so well there, Aridin. Seems like you're getting a little tired, buddy.
Come here. I'll get him eventually. You know, I oh, I may have been dumb. He's had frost armor probably this whole time and I never got rid of it. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. I was like, why does this guy have so much health? Oh, uh, never mind. He's like the other one. He like gets rid of it instantly, so I don't know if there's really a, an effective way to get rid of it. But. Yeah, it didn't. It's not really making a difference, to be honest. All right, back to Quinn then. That's unfortunate though, because I like that as a mechanic, but he gets it back too quick, and like, it's not a big enough difference when you take it off. think you're going. You ain't getting away. Oh, just come back here to die, huh? It's like, I must die on my ship. Defeated Aridin. Did Avalok really betray us? Probably. Where's Siri? What? I thought you knew. All I know is Avalok might have betrayed us. What the? That a storm? Geralt, look! we expect what are we gonna find there if the tones are to be believed nature's laws will cease to hold gravity time and like all of it will be turned on its head exaggerating for effect right not one bit the conjunction of spheres has begun the worlds they're aligned permeate one another Avalar could use this bring the NL here or something far at least we know where to find Siri. At least we know where to look for Siri. Mm. Follow me and stay alert. We need to focus on Siri. What do you think Avalok wants from her? Same as Eric and He will use her to open a gate between the worlds. 
Oh, fun. That's what we get for trusting him. All right, so we finished our quest on thin ice. Uh, every plan looks best on paper. It was no different this time. Though every last detail had been sent to, or seen to, our heroes were still in for many an unexpected danger and difficult moment. Their division of elite Nilfgaardian soldiers was frozen in ice before it could board the Naglfar. Ciri, who was supposed to stay out of the fighting, was forced into the fray to save Geralt. Meanwhile, glory-seeking, fearless or reckless, some might say, Skelligers rushed into the bay to fight both the Riders of the Hunt and the Imperial Fleet at the same time. Despite all these complications, in the end, the Allies defeated the Wild Hunt, and Geralt slew its king with his own hands. It was too early to rejoice, however. Right before his death, Aridin revealed that Avalok had betrayed the Witcher and had his own nefarious plans for Ciri. Geralt did not know whether to trust his enemy's words, but circumstances did not allow for long and careful deliberation. Now we have a new quest. Ted... Darad, the final age. Eridan's words rang in Geralt's ears. Could Avalok truly have betrayed them? Could Ciri still be in danger, even with the wild hunt destroyed once and for all? Without a moment to lose and paying no heed to their wounds or exhaustion, Geralt and Yennefer plunged back into the post-battle chaos ravaging Unvuk. We also had some character entry updates for Avalok. Aridin's last words sowed seeds of doubt in Geralt's heart, and Ciri and Avalok's sudden disappearance led them to spring into thorny shoots. Everything seemed to indicate that the Sage had been pursuing a hidden goal the whole time, to open the gates between worlds. And then our boy Croc, he uh, had a brutal end. Uh, Croc also did not balk when the time came to stand and fight Aridin. Though Aridin killed Croc during this fight, the Jarl's death did not break the Islander's spirit, instead becoming a model of how to die like a true hero. Alright, let's go save Ciri and stab Avalok in the face. what I get for listening to the conversation. <laughs> This is not, not yet. 
conjunction is just beginning. What'll happen next? I don't know, Garrett. I'd rather not find out. Mm. More on the way. We must hurry, Garrett. The gates between the worlds are growing wider. Trippers are getting worse. We've not much time. Going yet. We're supposed to be leaving. What happened to them? The white frost. Damn it, it'll bury us. Wait! Gavara's table! Keep near me. Again. I'm outside of her protection. There we go. Sword needs some love. Oh wait, that's I always forget they're different repair kits. Think I'll spare you? You think I'm willing to spare you? I think you will not attack one unarmed. Wouldn't be so sure. I'm in a foul mood. I am not your foe. I am merely helping Cyrilla. I don't believe you. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower. Because I aim to enter it. Why would you do that? 
Why the hell would you do this? The Wild Hunt's been defeated. The White Frost has not. The prophecies are true. I have seen worlds bound in ice. I know what awaits you. Only the Elder Blood can stop the White Frost. Only I can stop it. You don't have to make the sacrifice. You don't have to make this sacrifice. You're wrong. The White Frost is inevitable. It will come to freeze the world one after the other, eradicating all life. Only I can stop the destruction. I've given it much thought and made my decision. There's got to be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it. Don't do this to me, please. Don't do this to me. Please, not now. Oh, Geralt, believe me. A tavern, old wine, our boots drying by the fire. I'd like nothing better. Must try for you, Yen, Triss, for everyone. Keep your fingers crossed. I might believe you if you showed me a pair of monogram Batiste Galagaskins. <laughs> More likely, you just say I stole them. <laughs> Dimwits.
You were supposed to be somewhere? I was. Fine. Where will you meet? Near the Huntsman's Cottage. Old man always had a soft spot for me. He could sense I was a family man. A man of peace. Good nature, like himself. Would have never crossed his mind to disown me if it wasn't for that hag I call my sister. What's the name again? Count Julian Alfonso de Wet? Viscount Julian Alfred Pankratz de Lettenhove. <laughs> Don't believe me? Just watch. You'll wipe that doubting leer off your face when we go visit my estates. <laughs> hmm. Clearly sometime in the future and the frost is here. Something ends, something begins. How did it all play out? Uh, what was that last... Oh, right, it was like called Ted Darid or something. Let's see. Or Ted Darod. The Final Age. Uh... Okay, so we already read all that. All right, so what's our new quest? Something ends, something begins. My story began in Temeria, near Vizima, with Geralt dreaming a dream of Yennefer, Ciri, and the Wild Hunt. It ends in Temeria as well, with winter in full force, a blanket of snow wrapping the earth tight, and the Witcher and his ward heading out to hunt rabbits, and his ward... Oh? Maybe? So I got a new one. <laughs> And drop this. Yes? You just invent this count bit. Quite the imagination for one who's sober. Geralt will vouch for me. Tell him, I've always said I'm a count. True, you've always said so. <laughs> just nobody's bothered to verify it. <laughs> What's with this count business all of a sudden? Well, when we finally leave this God's forsaken dung hole, I plan to reclaim my heritage, the titles and estates that are rightfully mine. And what do you do with or what will you do with them? Got plans for all these lands and titles? I'll take possession of them. Of course, there's also the issue of progeny. Is that so? Then you finally found a lassie worthy of the great dandelion. My dear friend and companion. Why, my heart belongs to the one and only Priscilla, known also as Calanetta. Your heart, mate, true. But the rest of your anatomy? I resent the insinuation, and hasten to remind you that you are talking to a Count. No need for the Count to get riled. Rather, you told us how your beloved is. Recovered, mostly. Even started singing again. Her voice is a little lower pitched, gravelly. Actually, sounds a little better. Thanks for helping back then, Geralt. Meant a lot. Really. What are friends for? Give her my best. Don't worry, I will. Give her a kiss, even. A bit from you, mostly from me. Oh, Priscilla re recovered. That's good. I'm going hunting. I'm going rabbit hunting. Dandelion? Glad to have some rabbit stew. But freezing my ass off to amass the ingredients did not sign up for that. I'll gather the herbs. Spices. No stew is complete without some sun-drenched thyme and the aroma of rosemary. Hi. <laughs> the fields are covered with rosemary blooming like well just before Yule, aren't they? That's why I'll be gathering my herbs from the kitchen. Uh, so long. Get out, pal. Hey, uh, What's right, you walk? Uh, Hello, Enkeep. Sadly. All out of curdled milk. If you're at swimming, that is. What did we have yesterday? What was that stuff we drank yesterday after the charred oak spirit? My very own thrice distilled plum brandy. Everyone's talking on it, though I tapped the barrel just recent. Likely to get more patrons now. Truth be told, got my hands full with you lot. But my place will likely fill up more come evening. I cannot work out why the old inn wife abandoned this tavern and moved to Ruststone. 
What do you have on offer? Must sell you something, maybe? Nope, never mind. Did it just break? <laughs> it just broke. <laughs> I'm stuck! Maybe if I sell them something. Here, have a Evaluce. Or Ervaluce. There. Or have 11 of them. No! Get me out of here! Open menu. Back. <laughs> Dang it. I'm pressing all the buttons. Ugh, alright, where's my last autosave? Uh, 730. Oh god, it was freaking five minutes ago. Evil soft first touches? Wait, what? What the heck is that? All right, well, I gotta go back, unfortunately. The king of the wild hunt lay defeated. As to Siri, with her exceptional gift, her story was hardly done. The sorceresses helped the Witcher determine that Siri and Avalach were somewhere on Unvik. Geralt and Yennefer set out to find them. Eredin's last words proved a lie. Avalach and Siri had gone together, he as her mentor, to a portal that had opened within Tor Gavalka, Falcon's tower. Siri entered the tower, prepared to use her powers to end a danger once and for all, to save all worlds from eradication in the grip of the White Frost. Old man always had a soft spot for me. Oh, well, I'm back since here. I was a, a man of peace, good nature, like himself. Would have never crossed his mind to disown me if it wasn't for that hag I call my sister. What's her name again? Count Julian. All right, let me just make sure we what? we talk to them again. I'll skip Julian through all the dialogue. Alfred Pankratz de Lettenhove. <laughs> Don't believe me? Just watch. You wipe that doubting leer off your face when we go visit my estates. <laughs> Strange uh, loading screen. Yeah, I mean, there's. You just I imagine it's a very. Small window to actually get that to pop up. <laughs> What's well? Oh, not oh, going crap. Glad to no! <laughs> ah! Oh, not safe. Freaking skip got me. The king of the wild. Oh, we get to see this loading screen again. As to Siri with her exceptional gift. I don't know if the like the dialogue will mean anything in the future, so I don't want to skip what I had already picked. Siri and Avalach were somewhere on Unvik. Geralt and Yennefer. Set out to find them. Well, I've never last been robbed in a game before. Avalok and Give me your stuff or you'll together. be stuck he here. He is her mentor to a portal that had opened within Tor Gavalka, Falcon's Tower. Yes, I absolutely will not Siri be entering that the tower. Too, prepared to use her powers to end a danger uh, once and for all. But I will talk to To save me. all worlds from eradication in the grip of the White Frost. Old man always had a soft spot for me. He could sense I was a man, a man of peace. <laughs> we get the final boss. We've been owned by an innkeeper. Like Something would have never like that. his mind to disown me if it wasn't for that hag I call my sister. What's the name again? Count Julian Alfonso. This is where it all began. Count Julian it's the White Alfred Orchard Pencrats in where uh, Vesemir and I were. <laughs> Don't believe me. We lost poor Vesemir. We lost Croc. leer off your face when we go visit my estates. <laughs> Lost many friends. You just invent this. Carol will vouch for me. All right, well, careful you know, here. <laughs> just nobody's. What's with this count business? Well, got plans. I'll take possession. That... My dear, I res. No need. Rec that... What if? Give her my best. Don't worry. I Go on, hunt. Going rabbit hunt. Glad right, to have. Time. I'll get it. <laughs> That's. Okay. Now talk to Mr. Innkeep. Sadly, what was that? St oh, oh, oh. Likely to get more truth feet. I cannot. No. Nope. that st I really hate the skip. It like is delayed. You have to be like super careful using work. it. All right, farewell. So long. Anybody else in here? No, just a bunch of peasants. All right, talk to the hunter. <sighs> Cold. 
bloody hell! Ow! Plowing ear pits! Help me! Wait, new quest, faithful friend. I <laughs> got another quest, faithful friend. Sometime after he reunited with Yennefer and White Orchard, Geralt returned to that village. During his previous visit, he had hunted a griffin. This time, his task was to catch a runaway horse. All right, well, I guess I'm going to help this guy. I got you, buddy. Don't worry. Get back here, horse. Hey, Temerian soldiers. To think the nag would know me after all these years. They're smart, grow attached, a bit like people. Saw officers weep for their fallen mounts, though wailing women and crying babes didn't move them one bit. Which side were you on? Which side do you fight for? Like most, my own. Fought to stay alive. Dying's all the same. Dirt and shite. Be it under the Redanian Eagle or the Imperial Sun. No glory in it. Been away long? Been away long? A year. Not quite. But it feels like more, let me tell you. They force you to join? No, I was eager to fight. Thought I'd bring home more than just the scars on my back. Did see a chunk of the world, though. Some mammoth battles. A few famous generals from afar. And lots of horses. Didn't see the Emperor take Novigrad, but I don't regret it. Beautiful city. But I wonder what awaits me back home. Can see the horse is in good hands. Glad to see the horse is in good hands. The best. His owners. Do you miss me, Golden? Huh? Do you miss me? I'd say he did. Bolted off soon as he sensed you. Toppled anyone in his way. Um... Do you mark anyone calling after him? Plowing in armpits or some such. But one man here curses so odd, my neighbor, Mirko, gave him Golden to care for when I left. Or to go see him, must be worried. Here, token of my appreciation for running after Golden to see you was all right. Last update of Faithful Friend. Oh my god, it's that guy. <laughs> Alright, faithful friend complete. Uh, the horse belonged to a soldier returning from war. It turned out it had run off to seek its beloved master. Geralt got into a chat with the soldier and listened to a few of his bitter words about the last phases of the war. So the Emperor took Novigrad after all. Took all of the north, really. Tamari is a vassal state. All right, Looking talk to, to the hunter. Don't you look out in a hunt, Master Witcher? Thought you'd clear the area of beasts your last time through. Rabbit hunting this time around. Ah, so that's it. Maybe you come round visit us this eventide. Verk is baking a pie. Hmm, I don't know if. As you will. You're always welcome. <coughs> Girl's got a reputation around here. Huh, there's a new thing on the board. Well, may as well see what, what's up with the board. Oh, never mind. It's, it's nothing there. It's all lies. It's Misla. He's gone. Mad she had to wait. No, eager to roam the fields. Prepared the cover scents and oiled the jaw traps all by herself. Make a good hunter, wouldn't she? Nah, too impatient, that one. Probably snatching rabbits barehanded, putting them in the traps because they're too slow to step in themselves. Where'd she go? Not far. Over yonder. Farewell. She. Ward. It's looking like Siri made it.
And yes, unless Yen and Geralt adopted. There she is! She's alive! Not up to hunting rabbits anymore? <laughs> Not really. What now? Nothing. Just sitting, waiting for you. It's nice here. Ah, wait till you see Dolblathana in winter, and the Blue Mountains. We'll head east soon as the snow melts. Think we might have settled in a bit too much. You promised to show me that griffin's nest before we left. Let's go now. Really interested? You actually interested? Absolutely. You said it yourself. A royal griffin's a rare sight. Not that rare. Venture to say we'll have to slay a couple more before we get back to Kaer Morin. But if you want to see the nest, it's just up the hill. Come. All right, go to the griffin's nest. We were supposed to train today. Uh-huh. Tomorrow it's sun up then. Work you hard like I did in the good old days. Probably been a while since anyone showed you just how much you still have to learn. Mm. <clears throat> Almost there. Keep up, Siri. Careful now. This is no time for you to lecture me. Siri, wait. There's something in there. We really don't need to play hare and hounds. Siri. <laughs> Making friends, Siri. That's all it needed to be to rip your shoulder wide open. But it wasn't, and it didn't. We killed it. What is this about? You're angry, wanted to unload. But be that careless, and next time... Don't you understand? There won't be a next time! Siri, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, it's just... It's not a good time. Wanna head back? All right, enough. Let's go fishing. Hmm. She's clearly troubled. We bring Dandelion a nice fat perch and he just might forget about the rabbit stew. Hmm. Shame he didn't come along. He could use a bit of exertion. Huh. Ice shouldn't be too thick here. Uh-huh. How exactly do you plan to catch anything? You'll see. I'll be damned. Should we go? No, no way. Lake's gotta be full of perch, bream, or pollard. Hmm, fresh pollard. Would you like that? I wouldn't mind some, but do we plan to wait here until he leaves? No. We'll scare him off. How? I'll improvise. Wait here. Throw a bomb to scare off the bear. All right. 
Don't use my bombs too often. Ah, uh, don't use a dimeradium bomb. Use something a little... A little less valuable. Maybe, uh... Dancing Star. These are pretty useless. An old witch's trick for tough winners. Not terribly subtle, but... Effective? Mm-hmm. Remember, don't ever do this. Why show it to me at all, then? Just in case. Never know what could happen on the path, what could save your life. <laughs> Look at this awesome thing. Don't do it. Alright, we got a bunch of dead fish. Alright, let's go. Who taught you that? Vesemir. A long time ago. How long? Very. Back when I wanted to call myself Geralt Roger Eric Duot Belagarci. What? <laughs> Tell you about it tonight. And about the time you broke your leg after wagering you'd jump off the roof of Cam Morhen and land a horse's back? Hmm. How do you even know about that? <laughs> Eskel told me. But I want to hear you tell it. I'm certain you have a rational explanation. My rational explanation is it sounded like fun. <laughs> you never gave me piggyback rides at Cam Morhen, remember? Vesemir was the only one willing. <laughs> Had to wait till now to remind me? You've put on some weight since Cam Morhen. We should get back. Remember me training on the pendulum? How I feared I'd never manage, yet you forbade me from giving up. <laughs> I was black and blue practically all the time. <sighs> that pendulum was a nightmare. How can I forget? Those months at Care Morn. They passed so quickly. I wish we'd spent more time together then. All right, where are we going, Siri? We going back to the tavern? managed to forget it was today. They're here for me, Geralt. I'm going to Nilfgaard, to Emir. I know you didn't expect this, but in Vizima, my father and I spoke for long, argued really, and parted. Then a messenger came with a letter. I didn't say anything at first because I wasn't sure, and then I realized I had to stop fleeing. I realize that if I wish to change anything, I cannot do so hunting monsters round forgotten villages. I must do so from there, from Nilfgaard. You make this choice on your own? You make this choice on your own? If you mean to suggest Yennefer had anything to do with this, then the answer is no. Great. She even know? No. And I'd prefer she not get involved this time. I'll let you tell her that. Could have told me. You could have told me. Warned me. I wanted to, but I didn't know how. I've been happy here. I was afraid I'd ruin it. 
I wanted to make every minute count. So, back at the nest, I was about this. I didn't pry, didn't want to force you to tell me. Thought we had time. A lot more time. Is this what you want? Is this what you want? Yes. You're not trying to stop me. Take me to the Blue Mountains by force. Traveled half the world to find you, but I never intended to force anything on you. I know. You'll be fine. You're a witcher. We needn't say goodbye. I don't know why he'd say that. Of course not. Of course we don't. I don't know when we'll see each other again. Do you know where to find me? You can't possibly stay at Kaer Morhen all the time. Makes no difference. You'll find me. <laughs> True. Remember what I taught you. You never know. Could be useful there too. Pass the trial. Finish the game on any difficulty. And finished it on blood and broken bones or death march. The third. Walked in. Oh, finish the game on death march. Third northern war ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novigrad and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Temerians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. After years in exile, Ciri returned to Nilfgaard, her paternal home, where Emir prepared to name her his successor. The woman had the necessary qualities, from her father, she'd inherited an empress's political instincts. From Geralt, 
she had gained a sense of simple human decency. Few monarchs boast both traits, which is quite a shame. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed, and passed the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else. We reached the end of the game. That definitely did not turn out the way I expected it to. I would never have guessed that Siri would uh, would go back to be uh, future Empress. What a journey, though. I don't know how many hours that took me, but I think I was probably close to 140. <laughs> 150 maybe? Maybe even more, I don't know. I'm gonna let this go for a bit. Oh, is it just replaying the the same images again? I was letting it run because it was interesting, but if it's just gonna replay that, yeah, it looks like it. All right, so how do I skip? Something. Wait. The story of Geralt of Rivia has come to a close. You can continue traveling the world in search of Witcher contracts and adventure. But everything will be as it was before the game's last chapter, and quests tied to the main storyline will no longer be available. You have unlocked the ability to start a new game plus. I actually didn't know that I had that. To do so, create a new game save, start a new game, choose the new game plus option, and select the save you created to import your character. Only saves created after unlocking the new game plus option can be used for this purpose. Oh, and we're back in Kaer Morhen. Evil soft first touches. Go see Olgierd von Everick about the contract. Oh, that's the DLC quest. Interesting, interesting. All right, so... I think the Hearts of Stone was the first DLC that released, so we'll probably do that. Yeah, I think Hearts of Stone was the first one. Well, somebody can correct me in chat. Hearts of Stone is first? Okay. So, this is the one that starts it, I believe. Evil soft first touches. Uh, let's see. When Geralt later told me the story which began at the Seven Cats Inn notice board, he mentioned he had felt drawn to that place, as if some strange, undefined force wanted him to appear there on that day and at that time. I didn't give this remark a second thought until I heard the tale to its conclusion, and realized its beginning had been no accident. And it began like this. One day, Geralt arrived at the Seven Cats Inn, in search of his next contract. He perused the notices hanging there, yet found none to be of much interest, and was about to go on his way when a man came to nail a new parchment to the board. The notice announced a certain Olgierd von Everick, residing in the nearby Garen estate, was looking for someone to kill a dangerous monster lurking in the Oxenfurt sewers. Sounds like a job for me, thought Geralt, and he set off to see this Olgierd and learn more about the contract. Little did he know this was to be the beginning of a great adventure, one filled with both delightful diversions and deadly dangers. 
All right, so let's first go to Novigrad. I was gonna make some of that Witcher gear. It seems wholly unnecessary to me to be even stronger, but we may as well. We can be a little bit more overpowered, why not? I thought there was a fast travel here. Is it all the way at the bottom? It is at the bottom, all right. <laughs> Geralt fails at retirement, it's true. It's like, look, we, we lived happily ever after in the middle of nowhere, hanging out. We did it for like six months. That's what you get from me, Yen. And then the, the lust for battle returned. I gave her six months, okay? That's all I could muster. I don't know how many more years I have to live, but I gotta be getting at least somewhat close to the end. All right, so Novigrad, we're gonna go talk to our Smith dude that we helped. Just throw that marker there. You didn't do pulls for a couple of important choi choices. I was stressed. I I don't uh, pull all of the choices. If there's something I really want to do, I'll do it. But it's also fun to just see what happens. It's a material world. Think I'm alive. I am curious though, what important decisions did I not pull? Because I can't remember, I've done so much in this game, it's all a bit of a blur. Back onto your rock. What's up, Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Well, first you can buy a bunch of crap off of me. What do you have on offer? Oh man, he's got so much money. Uh Sell that. That's my old silver sword. Sell that. Mulgrum. Get that out of here. Dithwin. That's definitely gone. Let's see. Havkaren. Uh, that one's actually pretty decent, but not quite good enough, I'd say. Same there. Princess Zinthia's sword, not gonna get the job done. Gwestog? No. Let's see, Dancer, definitely not. All right. Oh, and I ran him out of money, jeez. That didn't take long. Can you at least buy this? Nope. <laughs> All right, ran him completely out of money. Crafting. All right, so he is a sword maker. Uh, wait, Griffin Silver Sword. So I gotta like make the previous one and then the next one and then that's it. Why are these green if they're supposedly so good? I find that part odd. But yeah, they're all green. Item must be upgraded to Grandmaster level to unlock bonuses. Oh, so you can keep upgrading it. I see. All right, so which one do I want? Let's see. That's strong attack bonus. Screw that. I don't want that. All right, so not feline. Feline sucks. Um, that's the same deal. Oh, Master Crafted. Are these just showing the wrong rarity? If this is mastercrafted. Yeah, it like goes all the way up to mastercrafted. I, I don't know. This seems like it's showing the wrong thing. All right, so what's this? Bonus for three pieces. After using stamina to cast a sign in its standard mode, the next sign cast within three seconds will be cast in standard mode without using stamina. 
And the size of Urden Traps, that's a crappy one. I don't like that. What else do we got? When a Quinn Shield shatters, there's just a chance a new one will be cast at no stamina cost. The bonus increases by 5% for each piece of the set. And damage dealt by abilities involving the Quinn sign is increased. Eh. Yeah. Maybe? How about the Wolven one? Each instance of bleeding applied to enemies increases sword damage by 1% for each piece of the set. Now that's interesting. Ace Adrenaline Point increases the possible number of bleeding effects that can be applied to a single enemy. This seems strong. What do you guys think about the Wolven Sword? That seems pretty good to me. Bleeding is strong. It's really strong. What do we have for Steel Swords? Anything? Oh, we do have a Feline one. Uh, and it's the same bonuses. I don't know. The Wolven seems the best to me. Yeah, I, I know we're Wolf School. I don't know. That that was the one that seems the best. Maybe Ursine Runner Up. It's not that great though. I don't know though. I might like. I'm not super impressed with the swords. We might just say screw it to the swords and just get armor. Because, like, the sword I have is way better, I think. There's, yeah, there's a cat school one. It's the um, feline one. It's not very good. Strong attacks. I never use strong attacks. They're too slow. I guess rear attacks deal 50% more damage. It's kind of nice, but it's hard to hit most enemies from behind. Well, let me think about the sword one. We'll go make some armor, though. Because the armor will definitely so be superior, but I'm unimpressed with the sword. I think my my actual swords might be better. I don't know if I want to stick with light armor. It, I never really saw much of a difference, to be honest. It doesn't seem worth it. Like, I saw a difference in terms of how much damage I took. But in terms of how much damage I was dealing, it seemed kind of inconsequential, so I'll probably just go with whatever has the best bonus. So let's go to Valen, to that armor lady. Why would the cat school have heavy attack bonuses? That's a good question. Doesn't really make a lot, a lot of sense. I am trying to talk to her. I don't want to extinguish the stupid candle. Geralt, there we go. Good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Uh, well, what do you have in stock first? I'll sell you some. What crap. are you selling? What's good? Was this one? This one's woven, already. Oh, green just means witcher armor. Okay. It's a slightly different green. I see now. All right, so each instance of bleeding. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. Just bleed them. Just put massive bleeds on everything. Plus those resistances are freaking great. All right, so we already have Mastercrafted Wolven. We don't need that, but we can make the others. I think Wolven wins. So let's just sell these other things. I don't care about fashion. I want I want it to be good if we're going to make it. Need some armor made. Not that Which I don't care armor. about fashion. But in this case, I'm you know, I specifically am making this stuff to to be stronger when I don't need it, so I may as well go all in. Uh all right, so we want Wait, Mastercraft of Forgotten Wolven Boots. What's the difference here? All right, so I have to start with the woven boots. Kind of weird that you have to like work your way up, but whatever. Oh, and I might actually need more materials. I've been kind of selling this stuff. What is that? Monster essence. Hmm. I might not be able to make a full set. We'll see. But we'll make the woven, and then from there we have to make the next step. Forgotten woven. 
Oh, actually, this is different. Oh, wait. Is it? Would I want the Forgotten or would I want the Wolven? The Forgotten starts higher. Oh, that has attack power and this has... Oh, Cyan Intensity? Screw that. I want the attack power. Forgotten was forgotten for a good reason. Nobody likes it. Alright, anyways. So let's make this. Witcher gear! You've picked up the first item in a set of elite Witcher gear. Such items can be upgraded by taking them to a craftsman and providing an appropriate diagram. So hang on to them even if you find something better. Alright, and then from there we make these... I hate how this is not... Um, organized well. All right, so then we go to Enhanced Wolven Boots, I think. Yep. And then from Enhanced, wherever the next one is, Superior, I think. Superior Wolven Boots. And then Mastercrafted. Where's the Mastercrafted? Oh, and these are medium weight, okay. I see Mastercraft of Forgotten Wolven Boots. Oh, I might not actually have them yet. Uh, oh, that's right. I'm still missing them. Well, that's all right. We can just hang on to what we've got now. Is that still better than what I have? Let me see. Take care now. Let's see. Oh, actually, yeah, it kind of is. Okay, that's fine then. We can just take it to Superior. Superior will do the trick. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. Alright, so we got boots. We got chest. Let's make some gloves. Where are those gloves at? Why are your gloves at the bottom? All right, so we may as well look at the forgotten ones, see if they're any good. So these are, oh, these are sign intensity. Maybe the forgotten ones are better. Let's see, because they do the same bonus. Art intensity, boo, it's not good. I, is that even worth it, <laughs> to be honest? I guess so. It's just general sign intensity. All right. That'll work. Like that. And then what was it? Enhanced next. Enhanced. And then superior. I'm just going to take these all in the superior. Okay. And then boots, chest, gloves, and I guess we need a helmet. Oh, and we also need pants. Totally forgot about pants. I mean, does one really need pants? Is it really a requirement? Ooh, attack power, nice. All right, attack power is good. Forgotten Wolven, our sign intensity, screw that. All right, Wolven Trousers, make them. Hopefully they'll be tough enemies we actually need this for. Ah, uh, maybe? I will say the game was uh, on the easier side, but once again, that apparently changed. Either that or people were misremembering the difficulty of the game or weren't good, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't struggle too much with this game. Wait, where's my helmet options? Oh, that's right, we don't... Oh, wait. Oh, whatever. Let me equip this stuff. Take care now. Pants are optional. They, they are absolutely optional if you're an NPC. That's right. I was thinking we had helmet slot for some reason, but we don't. All right, so... 
Boom, 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 boom. Hey, not bad. I like that look. Let's throw some runes in it. I don't have anything I'm like super excited about, but Quinn intensity is always good. Let's just beef Quinn. Just super Quinn. Super Quinn it. Oh wait, I have stronger Quinn things. Oh here. There we go. Super Quinn. Yeah, I like that. That's good looking. Not too shabby. Oh, I'm ready for this DLC. I am ready. I think I am going to stick with the swords that I have, though. We'll see how strong that bleed thing is and if we actually need it, but... I don't know. I feel like I feel like those swords were underwhelming. Oh, and I should sell those. I should sell my extra old gear. What can I do for you? What are you selling? What's good? What's this? Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Man, I may as well use all of it. I don't sell all those. Igni ones will sell 20. And... There. Alright, she's out of money. And I'm up to 80,000. Farewell. Take care now. Alright, so we need to go see Olgird Von Everick about the contract. And that is in Novigrad. Way over there. Well, I guess we'll go to the Moldavi residence and then we'll hit up that place on the way and then swing up. Let's do that. Oh, and let me look at my um, abilities because I've got. I'm set up for light gear at the moment. Right, what's going on here? Oh, okay. So let's go to character. I know I've got a bunch of points I haven't used yet. Uh, so there was a bonus. Oops. There was a bonus for medium gear. I don't think it was good. Alright, so I have survival instinct. Not equipped. I don't need it. Cat school techniques is there. Griffin school. So each piece of medium armor increases sign intensity by 5% and stamina regeneration by 5%. You know what? I'm not going to bother with that. It's not good. Uh, bear school. Focus. Adrenaline burst. Yeah, none of these are particularly great. I didn't really like the up, like the skills in this game, I must say. What's this? Instead of its previous effect, Battle Trance now increases critical hit chance by 8% per adrenaline. Wow, per adrenaline point? What is Battle Trance again? Wait, what is Battle Trance? That sounds ridiculously strong. I somehow overlooked that ability before. If available, adrenaline points will be consumed to reduce the toxicity of drinking potions by 33% per point. Care about that. Gorged on power. Bonus from place of power lasts indefinitely. Gourmet. You ignore bomb and special bolt effects. Meh. Heavy artillery. Bomb damage is tripled. But the number of bombs and slots is decreased by half. Attack is the best defense. Each defensive action generates adrenaline points. Parry is 0 0.1. Counterattack 0 0.4. Dodge is 0 0.3. Roll 0 0.2 cannot be activated more than once every five seconds. Eh. This is the only one I'm interested in, this battle frenzy, but I do not remember what battle trance is. My alchemy. I never put anything into this. Heightened tolerance. 
Uh, the problem is, like, you have to actually equip these. This is why it's I don't like it. Like, if these were passives, that'd be interesting. But yeah, I just don't care about the alchemy tree at all. Active shield. Oh, I did have the exploding shield. All right, no, no, that's not it. Is it this one? No. I don't know why I've got that exploding shield thing where I hold it. I don't think I set that up. Uh, let's see. Where is Battle Trance? Undying's amazing. Oh, here it is. This is one of your core abilities that is always active. Blows landed during combat generate adrenaline points. Each adrenaline point increases weapon damage by 10%. So what does that one do again? Instead of its previous effect, battle chance now increases critical chance. But oh, okay, so you get critical chance instead of raw damage. Nah, never mind. I don't like that. I have exploding shield. I do. Top left. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, right here. Oh, you're right. No, but exploding shield is just when it breaks, not the one where you hold the sign unless it's one and the same. Because I actually like this. When my shield breaks, it pushes everybody back. I actually want this, but I don't want the one where I hold it. Maybe it's this. Maintaining an active shield no longer drains stamina. Stamina drained for blocked attacks unchanged. Damage absorbed by shield. Oh, okay, so yeah, I see. I see, it's that one. All right, well, we'll just get this instead, I guess. Increase the intensity. And stamina regeneration. Alright, so put this in place of the other one. There we go. Alright, that'll fix my problem. I don't really care about the rest of this. At all. I, I gotta say, like, the weapon abilities in this game were just very disappointing. Or, uh, character abilities. What whatever you want to call these, the upgrades. Each adrenaline point adds 1% to the chance of killing an opponent instantly yeah I don't care about that either yeah all right whatever I'm just gonna keep what I got <laughs> so many points and nothing to spend it on that's very much what it feels like Well, because not only that, like, none of them are passives. So, like, I don't even understand how you would use all your points. Well, I guess some of them are passives, but most of them aren't. So, if you want any of those, you have to actually equip them. So, like, fairly early on, you just run out of things that you can put points into. And really, all you're doing is, like, setting up alternative powers that you could swap in. But you're not, like, gaining more power. You're just gaining more options. But... Me, personally, I just don't find the options to be interesting. No One good thing in this game is they have a potion to reset all points and restart all again. Yeah, but why? <laughs> like, in other games, sure, but, like, I have literally everything I want, and I just have all these extra points. Like, I don't like any of these things. Alright, I'm assuming the guard's not going to be happy if I were to go to loot this, or maybe he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Okay. Not sure why. Slop swapping loadouts is also time consuming. Yeah, I'm usually not one to have like a bunch of different loadouts. I usually like just having the sort of like a jack of all trades setup that just works well kind of everywhere. But on some games I'll do it. But this would not be one of them. I, I will only really do it on games where like the base difficulty is pretty challenging and I feel like having that alternate setup would like really really benefit me. Serpent eyes, silver sword. Depends on the path you choose. Signals is overpowered depending on the tree you have. Yeah, but even then I feel like if I wanted a signs build, I could like I have a bunch of points right now. I guess maybe not. But I the signs never Outside of Quinn, the signs just never interested me. I don't, I don't find them to, I don't find them to be effective. 
and I wasn't willing right. to like try them in their upgraded forms when I didn't even like the base form, you know? So, it's like, whatever. What I've got is working. I don't really have a need to change. If they wanted me to use the signs, they should have made them more interesting at base level. Am I going to start the first DLC tonight? I'm, I'm, I'm literally in the DLC right now. <laughs> <laughs> so now that everything is settled, it's time for what we're all here for, Gwent. It, it might be Gwent time. It may very well be. Alright, there's a merchant over there. I don't... I actually got rid of a decent amount of stuff, though. You can make greater mut mutagens. All right, somebody mentioned that before, and I keep forgetting about it, because once again, I just don't feel the need to upgrade. Um, but how do you do that? Something I can already do? Stock. I could sell them that stuff. That's about it. All right, no, I can sell them junk. All right, cool. I can offload some junk on this dude. Let's see. That's a decent amount. Yeah, just do that. Make it easy. Farewell. Farewell. Yeah, I just don't have an interest in like certain builds being super strong because the baseline difficulty is easy. Now, apparently, once again, apparently that's new. Apparently that used to not be the case, I guess. Uh, but at least with what I'm playing, it has not been a challenging game, so like, it's like power for the sake of power. It just doesn't really interest me. If I'm if I'm being successful with what I'm doing and I'm enjoying using that, I'm not too keen on like, all right, well, let me just switch things up arbitrarily. Dude certainly lives in an interesting place. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Just slightly. Kind of reminds me of that uh, manor in Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> the, like the approach and everything? I don't know. It's getting those sorts of vibes. That mud cut, 200 kings. What a pickle. You alright, friend? Hey, mate, your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geert von Everick. Ah, that'll be inside. Olgierd von Everick. I'm looking for him. Not here by that name. Who are you, as a group? Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. Olgierd, where'll I find him? I was told I'd find Olgierd von Everek here. Someone's made an ass of you, brother. <laughs> mm. 
So maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm all geared. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm all geared. You? Not likely. I'm all geared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Spartacus. Amusing, really. But I'm here on business. You folk are a hoot and all, and I'd love to stay for more laughs. But time's short. Whoa, shit just got serious. Hear about the monster in the sewers. Seems old Geard von Everex offered a bounty on it. Shit was serious from the start. Goes without saying with a witcher. How's that? The purge, you lot of emotion. It's why you're all stiff. Hey! You think they shoved the long pike up your ass? <laughs> 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 all right, Master Witcher. Jests are done. Whether the good bit as it is, I'm impressed. Come on, I'll take you to Old Geard. <laughs> what do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Old Geard, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one who wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you want this job? You gotta grab his attention. And he's one to get bored mighty quick. Ottoman, sir. You the guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? Um, gotta admit, I like it. I happen to like it. Especially the two ovoid forms. A jester. Good. I don't like men with no sense of humor. They bore me to death. <sighs> I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman Olgeard, long may he live! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Come and drink with us! Well, we haven't a choice now. Fetch us some wine, dear, and a nibble or two. Celebrating anything special? This some special occasion, or just feel like feasting? Every occasion special. Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new sabre. I've hit on a name for her. Fair Saber, I dub thee Traditiana! <laughs> the contract, let's talk. Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. 
I'd not have bothered had my cook not become his victim. Ooh. The way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Nay. Hey. She went to a fair with her sister, or cousin, matters not. Daft wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the oxen fert sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince, and will wade knee-deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the Lord of the Manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Let's talk about the reward. Just one formality to resolve first. My pay. Never you mind that. Return with the beast's head, and you'll have leave to take anything you wish from me. Awfully generous. Still, I'd prefer to agree a specific amount. Oh, fine. How much would you like? Three? Four hundred crowns? Four hundred and fifty. Agreed. And that'll be in addition to whatever memento you wish to take. Quite generous. I'll take the job. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. Old Geard is an interesting fellow. Character entry added for him. Quest updated. Evil soft first touches. Enter the Oxenford sewers. Alright, let's see. There he is. To this day, I do not know what caused Geralt to inquire after the contract posted by Olgierd von Everick. That famed Witcher curiosity? An ominously light coin pouch? Or perhaps it was some other more nefarious force. Whatever the impulse, Geralt decided to visit the locally infamous nobleman and pursue the bounty on the sewer monster. From their very first encounter, Geralt knew Olgierd was a unique character. He led an informal band who worshipped the ground he walked on, though he clearly was of a different sort than they. Educated, a lover of art, and an adherent to a certain noble code. Yet Geralt also perceived something indefinable within the man. Something years later he would call a void crying out to be filled. I guess Geralt's quite poetic when he talks about people. Uh, Alright, so that is indeed an Oxenfurt, which we've been to before. We have a fast travel here at the Garen Estate, but let's look around a little bit. Let's see if we can talk to him again. Geralt. Or not. Okay. Guess they're mad about the toad. Well, he said I could take stuff. So, this time it's even with permission. Not that I needed to ask. I do what I want. The biggest house, to be honest. He's supposed to be like uber rich. Not that it's bad. Auction house letter. Dear cherished customer, we are extremely pleased you decided to make us, to make us of our services. That's a weird sentence. We believe the sculpture by the famed Giacomo Votticelli which you have purchased will bring you immense joy. We hope the artwork reaches you safely and unblemished. If not, please report any concerns or complaints to Roy and Roy Deliver Services, who bear full responsibility for the work's transport. We hope you will choose to do business with us again and invite you to take part in our subsequent auctions, the Borsodis Auction House. If I was in Geralt's shoes, how would I would have put up with their BS? Uh, probably the same way. I'm just here to make some money. And they didn't, uh... They didn't cross a line. I eventually got what I wanted, and I got the contract. Little annoyance. Geralt can deal with a little annoyance. And so can I. 
Take one down, pass her around. 99 barrels of rum on the wall. <laughs> hey, hey, aye. Aye, rum in 99 barrels. That'd be a good time. What do you say we look for the cellar? Cozy up to a hefty jug. Aye, you drunk. Go home, you sots. <laughs> Certainly a weird place. That bloody Nilfgaardian Imperia can kiss me down there. What right. a pickle. Black pudding cures any hangover. Guests, fish, and bloomers. All stink after three days. <laughs> All right. I think we saw everything. Hey, you! Puss papers! Name's Geralt. But I'm gonna call you Puss papers. That a problem? Get to the point. Got an offer. Potentially lucrative puss peepers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it, then cut the bugger's head off. Seem able enough. Why not take it? Why not take care of this yourself? Why not avenge him yourself? Seems like you all relish swinging your sabers. Aye, we do. And if I knew who'd axed Clivert, I'd have gutted him ages ago. Thing is, I don't. But you see a lot with them puss peepers. You'll track him down. Will I? Will I? I don't know, I don't like this lady. And I'm also not a hired assassin, but it sounds like a murder. Oh. Uh... We'll pull this one. What choice? Keep talking, or I'm not an assassin. All right. We will hear her out. Not that I like this name she's calling me. Keep talking. Keep talking. Clivert dealt fist tech. A few days past, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? Actually seen his corpse? No. But Clivert was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. Clivert's got a scar on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Said I'd think about it. Know what, puss peeps? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look for me in Oxenfurt, the Alchemy Inn on the main square. Oh, I do not like this lady. But I do like coin. A real dilemma. All right, that's a treasure hunt? Wait. Where's, oh, there it is. Rose on a red field. The White Wolf, the Butcher of Blaviken. Geralt gathered many sobriquets. I know, I've heard that word before and I, I have no idea how to pronounce it, but yeah. Somebody, somebody can enlighten me because I'm not uh, educated enough for that word. Gather many sobriquets, I will, sobriquois? I mean, actually, it might be sobriquois. That sounds familiar. Sobriquois on his path, one of which was the colorful and I dare say apt appellation of pus peepers. This he gained during his adventure with Olgird, when a cheeky young woman in Olgird's company penned him as the best, or as the man best able to track down the scoundrel who scoundrel who killed her friend Clivert. 
I think I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Let's do our let's do our main quest. Or actually, maybe this we could. Nah, nah. Let's just do this. All right. So into the Oxenford sewers. My Valor stands oh, on three pillars. Good, good food. Good times. Good. I just love watching birdies flutter about my head. That I don't like. You're an odd one. Joe's doc wants a one drop to shit straight in my gob. We'd best keep an eye open then. Aye. We'd best. <laughs> that dude fell asleep with his mouth, op mouth open and a bird took a dump in it. Wow. What a name. Lovely beasts. Black stallion would be perfect for me. Perfect. Why is that? Got me some new boots. Made to order. Black as night. Softest leather. Fucking elegant. Pick your horses to match your boots. Of course. Don't you? Part of me likes an aspect of this group and part of me hates them. They're kind of hilarious. Hey, Witcher! How about joining our band? A bit of salt will drain the snot. My fists are itching for a fight. They eat you and got drink and smoke and fight Ooh. and dance with lasses blithe and bonny. They stop and shout throughout the night. That bloody little Singing. god in a pig hey, can nutty, kiss me nutty. down there. What a pickle. It's sober K? K was any hangover. But sober Qua sounds so much more elegant. I feel nothing but contempt for that. That's fair. Alright, we're going to the Oxenford sewers. Apparently some lady thought she could turn some toad into a prince. Reading too many fairy tales. To the harbor. Oxenford's picturesque port has featured, or has featured as the subject of numerous odes and ballads. The setting for at least three lurid crime novels and a favorite spot for romantic outings for generations of students. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, stop it. Where you think you're going, Mucker? Why do you even care? You're in the military operations zone, and our job's to collect the war tax. Look more like you're collecting for a round of vodka to me. I wonder I do. Will you be that cheeky when we accuse you of spying? Now shut your trap and pay. Geralt will not be pushed around. Sorry. Not about to pay. Not about to give you a copper. Told you he was a spy. We're gonna arrest you in the name of good King Radovid. You can always try. What's going on here? Reporting the capture of a suspicious individual, sir. A spy. A witch'd make as good a spy as you'd make a chaperone. I catch you extorting coin again, you'll go straight to the front. The Eastern Front. And you, Witcher, best give these parts a wide berth. Thanks. Farewell. Thought he'd get coin from me, huh? Not gonna happen. But I thought Redania was defeated. I thought Amir took Novigrad. I guess he didn't take Oxenford? Everyone to me! Halt. You there? Please wait. You're Geralt of Rivia, are you not? <sighs> Depends who's asking. Revenue and customs for occupied Tamaria, <laughs> Dorian branch. Represented by yours truly, Deputy Tax Enumerator, Walter Mormite. Honored, I guess. What seems to be the problem? In brief, undeclared income. Excuse me? We've had reports, numerous, that over the last months you've come into a great deal of coin quickly. So quickly it's raised suspicions. 
Nothing better to do. Don't you have anything better to do? Not at the moment. Make no mistake. You cannot evade this. You must answer my questions promptly and in full. Profession? Witcher. Monster Slayer. Hmm. Sole proprietorship. Service sector. Type of services rendered. Rat pest monster removal. Moving on. Have you at any time engaged in the wholesale trade of rawhide in the White Orchard area? Me? Never. This some kind of joke? Of course not. Right. Next. During the current fiscal year, have you engaged in the acquisition of bivalves with the express intention of selling the pearls therein? Even if I have, what's wrong with that? Article 86, Section 3 of the Tax Code. Whosoever purchases goods at an unseemly low price to take advantage of the seller's ignorance shall be subject to a fine equaling 200% of the earnings from any such a transaction. Sound familiar? And now, please answer. Have you or have you not dealt in said pearls? No, never. No, never done anything of the sort. Witcher's honor. Now, for the final question... Have you ever unlawfully acquired another man's movable goods? Chattels? Hmm. Meaning? Ah. Oh, a meaning? Have you ever waltzed into someone's home and taken something without their permission? <gasps> Me? How dare you, sir? He must not know who I am. I would never. No, nuh uh. Never. Gotta be kidding. The Witcher's Code forbids it. I'm pleased to hear you abide by your guild's bylaws. Now, if you could wait for one moment. Compare column B to table 7. Apply the rate for confirmed childless bachelors. <laughs> a tax credit of 7.3% for practitioners of hazardous professions. It adds up to the crown. I say, good sir, you are exceptionally upstanding. It'd be rude to disagree. In these times, such civic virtue is a rarity. It must be commended, rewarded. Here. What? What's this? A diploma. I bestow on you the title of taxpayer in good standing. I'd suggest you frame it. Hang it in a place of honor. Congratulations. Get you. Yeah. Yeah. Apples to Xander. Paper, please. And a bottle of ink. Oh, I I'm out of paper. Requisitioned by the army to support the war effort. Paper? For the war effort? Everyone to me! To me! Ordinances and decrees. Well, it's glad. I I'm glad that I've finally been recognized for all of my good deeds throughout the world and paying my taxes. It's about water. time I got the recognition I deserve. What's an oddity like that doing here? Boy, why there? What for? Life kick you in the ass. Had enough. All right, we're going down. Terrible bitch, Actually, now let me touch this merchant. Best of all, it all together. Hello, merchant. Go on, don't think twice. Force. Just buy. Oh wait, not you. Merchant. What can I do with you for? If I ain't got it today, say the word and I'll have it tomorrow. Show me what you have in stock. Let me see. Might pick something. What's this? Paint. Sure, I'll take it. Uh, what can I sell? Do you buy junk? Heck yeah. <laughs> I could sell this taxpayer in good standing diploma. I'm going to keep it. Oh, I can read it. All right, I'm definitely going to read it. I want to see what nonsense it says. What's that? Nails? I have nails. Uh, well, these are certainly weighing me down. Yeah, there's nine right there. Dump that. That's got a decent amount of heft to it. Oh, there we go. Heck yeah, I'm super light. Actually, hold on. I can sell more. I could sell more. What else we got? Let's just sell... Deer hide, I guess. A 
So long. I say we throw it in the fire. I mean, it's not a baby. Where's my diploma? Oh my god, I have so many papers on me. It must be at the bottom. Or maybe not. Well, whatever. Oh, I found it. Taxpayer in good standing diploma. In recognition of his manifold virtues, the revenue and customs for occupied Tamaria, Dorian Branch, awards the taxpayer in good standing to Geralt of Rivia, a witcher of the Wolf Guild. Anastas Ant, Ant, Ante per, Pecunia? I don't know. Whatever that means. Anybody know what that means? We're not allowed to sell rawhide? I didn't sell rawhide. I suggested that this man might want some of the rawhide in my possession, and then I gifted him said rawhide, and then in, you know, in an unrelated manner, he decided that I was deserving of some coin, just for generally being awesome, and he gave me some coin. That's, that's pretty much what happened. I would never sell Rawhide. Boot prints. Large. Man's most likely. Hmm. Thought only women came looking for the cursed prince. I'm sorry, but if you came down here looking for a cursed prince, you are an idiot. Uh. A woman's prince alongside. Single set. She came alone. I feel, I feel like this is survival of the fittest way. Right uh, that stench. Ah, thing's got some health on it. A little dark down here. I'm gonna pull out my torch. Apparently, I've already got it equipped. Slash wounds made by a blade. No monster did this. Thanks, Geralt. It's, uh, good to see you. You too. Lost track of you after I left Vizima. Where'd you go? What have you been doing? Um, long story short, I've been treating the sick and wounded, as always. Mainly at my clinic in Oxenfurt. But in Redania, I'm called on to help the army at times, as well. I'll want to hear the long story long, too. Sure. 
But uh, once we're out of these sewers... Redenian army force you to come here too? Or are you just down here for a pleasant stroll? Got our orders this morning. I came down here with a whole unit, but something attacked us. His injuries. How'd he get them? What attacked you? Get a good look at it? No. I started running as soon as it appeared. It was huge. Spat venom and made these slurping sounds. That's all I know. Hmm. Doesn't sound like a major necrophage or a pack of drowners. No. This was one thing. Big, but one. Somebody threw a torch at it. Monster couldn't have cared less. All right. Not afraid of fire. Good to know. He's someone important to you? The soldier. He's someone important to you? His name was Nalls. Supposed to go on leave next week. Now he won't. Nor will the rest of his unit. How many were they? A whole squad. Six brave boys. All dead. Your mission, what was it? Why'd they send you down here? Only if it's not confidential, of course. I need a venom sample. From the beast that prowls these sewers. It doesn't just kill those who come down here, you know. The water in so many wells is contaminated. Folk are getting ill. Rudanian soldiers among them. Plan to kill the beast. Bring you a sample of its venom after I do. Nice of you to offer. But I'd rather go with you. Collect the sample myself. Creature's dangerous. You saw what it can do. I'm a big girl, Geralt. I can take care of myself. And you know I'll get my way, so don't try and talk me out of anything. <sighs> Fine. Your choice. So show me where the monster attacked you. This way. Grating's badly bent. Something large struck it, with a lot of momentum. I shut it as I fled. The monster must have slammed into it. Glad it held up. Though now we need to find a way around it. Is it worth searching outside? Actually, just hoping the monster's blow weakened one of the walls. I have no idea who this is. I assume it's from a previous game. I didn't see them give us a character entry. Well, let's see if they did. Sometimes they do and they don't tell us. Oh, yep, they did. Shani. Geralt entered the Oxenford sewers expecting to hunt down a hideous monster. So you can imagine his surprise when down one of those dank, slimy quarters he found, or he ran into Shani, an old and dear friend. Geralt and I had first met this extraordinary young woman years earlier, when she was just a cultish co-ed? Cultish co-ed, I guess? But by this time she had grown into a dignified doctor and a fearless field medic for the Redanian army. This latter role had led her and a unit of soldier escorts to descend into the sewers. Their goal was to gather a sample of the venom spewed by the monstrosity squatting there. Geralt, a gentleman through and through, agreed to help her in her task. Alright, but before we do that, let's look around a little bit. See what we can get. A skull, how inviting. And that's locked. Careful, monster might still be here. Co-ed usually refers to students, basically they met her while she was a med student. I see. Soldiers from your escort? Yes. That's them. Vern, Miklas, oh, poor boys. Beast doesn't play around, apparently. They saved my life. You friends with them? Know them well. Him, I met this morning. But Vern and I served together at the Battle of Dorian. 
Miklas only enlisted this Yule. Sorry. Once you kill this beast, we'll have to send someone down here to collect their bodies. Give them a proper burial. This lady's really in the sewers in high heels. <laughs> what exactly happened here? What exactly happened? We came in here and Nicholas started looking for tracks. Then the drowners attacked. The men made quick work of them. But Franz was injured. His leg. He and I stayed behind. I tried to bandage him up while Nalls stood watch. Then that beast appeared. Nalls pushed me towards the exit and ran at the monster. I turned around and saw him lying there, covered in a sticky substance. I ran back to get him, then dragged him to where you found us. Where was the monster? Well, Miklas and Vern had driven it away from us. And paid dearly for it. Managed to get a look at what attacked you? Everything happened so fast. I didn't get a good look, no. Only saw it from behind. I know it was large and slimy. Need to look around. Gotta look around. Man you patched up, is he here? Franz? I don't see him. Think the monster might have dragged him off? Could have. Hmm. He's probably crawled in or out through here. It's deep. Lower level of the sewers has been closed off for years. But Vern, the commander, had a skeleton here. See if I can't find it. I'm not ready to go down there just yet. I have another torch. Slash wounds made by a blade. No monster did this. Oh, well, good thing we looked around. Key to sewer gates. Rodanian. Good. Let's get going. Rodanian army orders. Order 15-48E-246. Issued by Albrecht Hockenhole. Captain Vern Palak and his unit shall enter the Oxenfurt sewers, where they shall escort field medic Shani on her mission to gather a sample of the venom spewed by the creature which dwells there and has been poisoning our water supply. If possible, they are ordered to kill said creature. Creature or creatures. <laughs> I, actually t I actually have a whole supply of torches. I didn't just magic one, I actually have like 18. <laughs> I should probably look at those are contributing significant weight. Okay. I'm going down. Garrow! Are you alright? I'm fine. I can't get down this way. I'll look for something else. Be careful. How you like that silver? Alright, I could have just opened the gate. Oh well, we'll make our way around. You made me drop my torch. Man, these guys have a lot of health. Maybe I do need a. Maybe I did need this Witcher gear after all. Maybe I should get a Master I feel like my bleed is not as strong as it was. No, it's supposed to be way stronger. Let's see. Let's see. How much is he bleeding? Yes. Not even visible. What the heck? What's my bleed so Oh, do I not have it equipped? No, I have it equipped. I must. Let's check, though, because I feel like it's not working. Other than that, they just have so much health. You can't even tell. Right, let's see. Do, 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 whirl. Undying. Crippling strikes. Yeah, there's the bleed. Weird. I guess they just have, like, absurd amount of health, which means the the Witcher gear might not actually be that great anymore if the bleed's going to be that weak. Oh, well. It looks cool. Oh. 
All right, so I was being silly and jumped down when really I should have just went around and opened the gate. But whatever, it's fine. Another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse, found a hideous death instead. Fuck. Hello, Drowner. Show me what you got. Wow, he died a lot faster. Geralt, are you all right? I'm fine. You? How'd you get in here? I squeezed through those bars. Look, it's bronze. What's left of him, you mean? What kind of beast would do that? Hmm, wonder why there are so many drowners. Mm, a lot of drowners. Does that mean anything? Well, it means our monster doesn't attack them. Seems they get along with whatever's prowling the sewers, some kind of symbiosis. Examine the corpse. Hmm, interesting. What? Franz had a leg wound, right? Mm-hmm. Just above the knee. Managed to apply anything to it? Yes. Some spirit, but that was it. Why do you ask? Look, half of Franz's leg is gone. Monster must have chewed it off. Other bodies were untouched, except for the wounds they sustained in battle. Hmm. Are you suggesting... The beast likes alcohol? Mm-hmm. Mixed with blood. Need to find its lair. Doubt we'll learn anything else here. We need to find the lair. Right behind you. Alcohol mixed with blood? Like that vampire I killed in Oxenfurt? Remember that vampire? He would... I had to get drunk. smell blend of alcohol blood and monster stench must have come through here another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse found a hideous death instead all right so that leads that way Loads of slime here. Enough for your sample? It'd be more than enough if it wasn't contaminated. To be fair, though, the it doesn't wouldn't make sense for it to be a vampire because of the slime. Shani, can you get your sample here? Sure, along with a bunch of. Shani, watch out! Move! <laughs> <laughs> Casually walking around. She must have a lot of faith in Geralt. Along with a bunch of dirt, rubble, and drowner droppings, I need a clean sample from the lair. That'd be best. Alright, so the stench goes that way. I want to see where she came in from. Redanian soldier came down to hunt the beast alone, maybe. Fool. A woman must have come here hoping to find her prince. If I can Shana, get him with a knee. Move. Yeah, I got him. Ow. 
Don Agni. What's that? Okay. Woman, 30 or so. Strange, no visible wounds. Died of exhaustion trying to escape. Terrible way to go. Ciao, Shani. I'm not trying to attack Shani, I'm trying to... Get rid of the... Ah. Alright, Shani, over here. You're in the way. Alright, well, nothing there. Oh, she must come from here. Another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse, found a hideous death instead. Alright, so this is the one she opened, I think. Yep, okay. I know where I am. Fantastic. Oh, I didn't look at that. I also didn't look over here. Woman's corpse, soaked in slime. Beast must have left it for later. He's saving his snack, so fun. Did I look at this before? Nope, found in the sewers. No, I did not. Had enough of washing up and sweeping up. World without end? Bored of sucking dry bread and boiling cabbage? You're back aching to high heavens from night after night sleeping on the floor? Change your life right now. Become a princess. Sleep on a mountain of pillows atop one tiny pea. Have a gilded carriage and handsome coachman at your beck and call. And as many slippers as you care to lose. All as if by the wave of magic, or by the wave of a magic wand. Peralt and Sons Company is proud to offer its services as matrimonial intermediaries. We guarantee a personal meeting with a becursed prince. And this month only, enjoy a special reduced price. Peralt and Sons Inc. bears no responsibility in the case of loss of life or health during said meeting. People are actually falling for that? Shawnee, watch out. Move! Ow, ow. Gotta be good. I feel like my bleed is just not doing much. My spin's working. Another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse, found a hideous death instead. Alright, well, I'm confused why the stench seemed to be leading to an area that is less likely to be where I s I'm supposed to go. Oh, because it goes over here. Oh, Monster hello. Monster left eye is basically time. intact. Just half covered in slime. Hope the wretch didn't suffer. 
Okay, so yeah, they went through the tunnel. And I interrupted it. Woman's corpse, soaked in slime. Beast must have left it for later. Sodden letter. Ronnie, believe it or not, folk are saying there's a prince cursed into a toad wandering the Oxenford sewers. I know, I know, sounds like a fairy tale, but Sue's from Hilltop swears it's the gospel truth, and Mary Heather's confirmed it. Both say this prince came from a far off land to court some countess, but her jealous lover grew furious, and since he was a wizard, turned the prince into a, into a toad. They say if any lass finds the toad and kisses its froggy lips, it'll turn from a slimy beast back into a handsome prince, and then it's clear what'll happen. A prince like that's no village lush. He's sure to be honorable and worthy, and and he'll uh, take whoever rescues him for his bride. So, Ronnie, next time you're in Oxenford at market, take a stroll into the sewers, I'm telling you. Who knows, maybe you'll walk out of them a prince's betrothed. Your friend, Adalbertha. Talk to Shani? Yes. Nope. Dead drowners everywhere. That's strange. Seems the monster tolerated them. Long as they don't get too close, I guess. Lair's gotta be nearby. Decaying corpses, slime everywhere, and that stench. This has to be the lair. Fresh and moist. Beast was just here. I'll collect my sample. Huh. All the tunnels and corridors converge here. What now? Need to lure the beast. How? We don't even know what kind of monster it is. But we do know it likes a blend of blood and liquor. Just so happens I've got some alcohol on me. Well, I hope you don't plan to cut yourself or... Relax. Plenty of bodies. I'll use one of them. Got enough for your needs? Sample you collected enough? Hope so. But I'd still like to get some pure venom. Once you've killed the monster. To distill an antidote? No use for it once the beast's dead. Not true. I have a few poison patients on hand. Besides, I can study the venom, test it, maybe discover some interesting properties. Was that a kid? Time to lure the beast. I'll get to work. Hmm. I doubt I'd be much help in the fight, but you might need me afterwards. I'll look for a hiding place. You'd be better off waiting for me up top, or back home. But- No buts. Wait in the passage for now if you have to, though I'd rather you didn't. But when the monster shows, you run for the surface. Ugh, fine. Shani, look at me. Promise you'll stay out of it. I promise. Good. Now go hide. Be careful, Geralt.
Definitely want to watch out for a tongue. That tongue attack will not end well. Ah, jeez. And that's like, oh my god. It's like nearly instantaneous. Oh, he went right through my Quinn. Wow. All right, the difficulty has spiked significantly. Hmm, I can't get in melee well because he'll freaking trash me in melee. And if I'm at range, that tongue just like completely ignores Quinn. Quite the predicament. Oh, Jeez, and when he hits me, he hits like a truck. Alright, maybe maybe I could like shoot the um He's got like some glow on there. I wonder if like I could shoot that like as a weak point. No, I'm not anything. Oh the Okay, I see I see that at least. His um whatever they're called. Um Wow, why is Quinn just not doing anything? When they, um... Pulsate like that, he's doing the tongue attack. He's like, I can see that now. Oh. oh my god, this guy sucks. Maybe this is an opportunity? No. Nope. Crap. Oh my god! Alright, let's see. What Witcher tools could we use here? Thunderbolt might be good just to try to get him dead. Let's see. Um, I also have to guess what he is. He's probably just a beast. I'm thinking beast or hybrid. Let's go beast. Well, that wouldn't be. Maybe hybrid. And let's see, what else could we use here? Damage to foes regenerates vitality is not very good. Uh, whenever a single hit drains more than a third of vitality, a Quinn Shield is activated, which protects against the next attack. Maybe? I mean, he hits super freaking hard, but I don't know about that. This is critical hit chance. These are speaking to me. This is the Witcher's resist the vitality pleading critical effects applied during combat. No. Mounts never panic. Nope. Uh, slay. No. There's so many, but so few are actually decent. Fork tail. No, oh, that's combining multiple attacks. Damage dealt is increased when vitality is at, at its maximum. I can't guarantee I'll keep that going. 
Reduces damage received based on armor and inventory. Wait, oh, right, that one. Provides complete resistance to stagger effect and reduces the knockdown effect to stagger. Maybe? I wouldn't get hit by that knockback, but it'd still do a lot of damage. Portion of the damage dealt by enemies is reflected back to the attacker, maybe. Wait, honey. Yeah, none of these are great. Acceleration to generation of adrenaline points, I guess. We could do that. Uh. Maybe we'll do this. Just get adrenaline points faster. I, I mean, it's not gonna help me a ton, but it's something. I think the key is to stay close, but not too close. Like just outside of the uh, stomp range. But yeah, if I if I get to range, he'll tear me up. So I want to stay close to him. Oh god! And obviously not in his face. So. Swallow! Oh crap! That range. Whoa! Alright, Swallow, you are not doing anything! Alright, this is the key. Just gotta stay close to him. Swallow is pointless. Where is that actually good one? I thought Swallow was better than this. Alright, where is... Um... White Rapids, that's the one I want. I like that. Yeah, he's not that bad, you just gotta stick right to him. Oh, I got too close. Ah. <laughs> He's such a pain in the butt. What that bleed's doing work. My undying should be active too. Yep, I think it just triggered. Yeah, totally did. All right, undying, save me. Oh! Hard to land consistent attacks though. Whoa!
Not a rush, I'll whoop. come to and he can speak human turns out started thinking I'm not conversing common the whole way except maybe with me reflection in the piss bucket where where am I on the albatross or the fuck bath oil it's that strange tone is it on route to a fear don't remember signing on as a sailor <laughs> oh you didn't mate they dragged you aboard seems you killed that prince <laughs> he was an actual prince? Shit, means I'm in trouble. Oh, toad in the sewers. Damn it. Should consider myself lucky, I guess. Could have killed me on the spot. Depends how you look at it. Happen to know a bit of a theory. Heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by their king to find their prince. Lift his curse. Wagered their honor, and that of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So, must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. Who are you? And who might you be? Felipe Caligran, at your service. Petty thief, professional fence. And your guide about Oxenford. One of a bit of time. Mm. And why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See, I was their guide. Led them down into the sewers. But not until after you'd cut their prince's gut open. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwent. Didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenford better than my own reaches. We've been sailing long? Where are we? We've been at sea long? Dunno, Riley. Not that long. Though, on the other hand... <laughs> but what's it matter, any road? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Me? I'm glad to be sailing to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there. White, and black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure they're not. Black horses with white stripes? Nay. Black horses with white stripes they got in Zangwabar. That I'm sure of. What about Shani? Is she here? Listen, there was a young woman, a medic, red hair. They capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. You were alone. Good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. Is there any way out of here? Tried to break out yet? Ah, used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be Maya Fury's, Rusty. Maya Fury's non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. I'll teach you something that time. Elkal! Orial! What's that mean? You told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. Can I talk to you, Captain? Elkal Sorkan! Galabat Kar U Albata again! Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. Gilea Bala! You'd be dead already. How do I say? Take me to your captain. What? Uh, third option. What just happened? What did he say? Said to sit quiet. And that you'll hang in two weeks. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get is angry gurgles. They puff up, you notice? While them fish. What's it they're called? There anyone here who speaks common? Ah, there's this mercenary with him. Looks a Danian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh, and the mage what leads them knows a bit. 
Heard him talking. But I doubt either will talk to you. Uh, that was you. Catch some shut eye. Not go on flapping the tongue. Got a long voyage ahead. Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? No. Not really. Gone to Rodin, known also as Master Mirror. We bet in White Orchard. I helped you find your Yennefer. We meet again. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this slot doesn't kill you first. I do not remember him. I assumed he was from a previous game in White Orchard? Uh, haven't tried it yet. Haven't tried it yet. Doesn't look promising. Not unlike your situation. I could try to extract you from here, you know. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you... Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know you return a favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, meet the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. What's that? A mark. To show we're associates. Who are you gabbing with? With no one. Oh, never like boats. Not one bit. I heave like devils. Make me stomach churn. Oh. It'd be prime to sleep through the whole thing. Didn't bargain for no storm, but be it that means a tidy jump in my feet. To a fear get us safe. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king, we must bring him. On doing so, my honor relies. Can we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like we're doing with the other? The other drought. We could do nothing. We deliver lie this one. Apart from all else, the hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I wish to see him. What kind of hell? Ari, flames, and water. This is for regicide and Pretty cool cutscene, I like that. Whoa! Alright, we should I was gonna focus him, but I think it probably makes sense to take care of these other dudes first. I love the way he's teleporting around, that's so cool. Oh! Should have seen that coming. <laughs> I froze this guy up. Oh, I can't parry that. Oh, I should have known. Oh. 
<laughs> he killed his own buddy. What a dummy. Messing up your own health. All right, me and you, mage. Where you going, huh? All oh, flash, no potency. Whoa, okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh, what? The all right, Undying just saved me. This guy's got some cool freaking moves. Ah! Oh my god! Oh, what? That little twirl did me in? I didn't even know that was an attack. I thought he was readying one. All right, round two. The difficulty spike is extreme. This changes everything. Oh. All right. I'm trying to learn his attacks. All right. So what's that do? Okay. Big explosion hurts his friends. Oh, you know that? Yeah. All right, me and him. Oh, jeez. Okay. Undying just saved me. Okay, he's a pain in the butt. Oh crap. Ugh. Nope. Starting to learn your moves. Sort of. I actually get a hold of them, I do a lot of damage. Oh, dodge that! Oh, oh, he's gonna turn to a whirlwind. Yep, I saw it. Yay, I know his moves. Finish him. Come on, bleed, get him. Yeah. Oh, put my sword and armor on. I didn't. Wait, do I really have that? Letter from an Ophiri merchant. Werner. Ferner, Perner, whatever it whatever be it they call you. No idea. Have I why the most gracious crown mage Ahmad designated all people. You are right, designated of all people, I assume it meant. Um, you as our liaison. The argument that you best know this land, being Nordling yourself, do not I find in the least bit convincing. Because Aderns as much to do with Redania as Zeracania has with Ulfir. Namely, nothing. But as the wishes of his graciousness are not to be disputed, beseech you, I, to try to deliver to him this message. Our camp we have staked near Brunwick, a village. In keeping with the orders given us by the court in his graciousness, knowledge and goods of our land we now share with the local populaces. Sadly, as to their mental capacities, my predictions rightly judged. So I renew my request for permission to travel towards a greater urban settlement, where our knowledge and experience will be better appreciated. Sincerely, Dula Kam Kaamani. Kamani, maybe. All right, we survived, and yeah, let's put our gear back on. I did not... 
Oh, I don't have my gear. Oh, yeah, I do. I have my pants and my boots, but not my my armor and my gloves and my... Well, it's a silver sword, whatever. And my silver sword. Much better. I don't. Re oh, actually, I think I do recognize where I am. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm at that place I wandered into when I was exploring in Novigrad. There's a chest here. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I'm in that northern island. Yep, that's exactly where I am. Well, since I'm up here, we should explore. Uh, so far, I'm really liking this DLC, and it's really the first time I've had a lot of fun with the combat because these dudes are freaking dangerous. Like, nothing's really been dangerous, and now suddenly, like, everything is. And I like it. It's a bit of a shock. Like, I kind of, ha like, I feel like I'm learning the game late <laughs> as a result. Um, but I do like it. Let's see if I can get on this boat. Like that, that mage fight was a lot of fun. See, there's stuff inside. I can't seem to get in there. I can go around. No? Huh. Yeah, I can't quite get up there. Might have to give up on it. Oh, wait. Aha! I'm in. Poor, so if I understand what happened correctly with that dude, he was just guiding them through the sewers. And then for for whatever reason, they just associated him with me murdering the prince dude. And then he gets his head cut off. Like, talk about unfair treatment. My God. And he was, like, taking it like a champ, too. He's like, oh, well, I could have just done nothing instead. Silly old me. Volunteering my services. That dude got a ridiculously bad break. And then that crazy Master Mir guy who's clearly got magic powers. Some craziness going on. Right, there's a lighthouse back here. Abandoned site. Wow. Wait, abandoned site? I didn't get people to move back in here? I think so. Well, I am came out here. I may as well clear it out. What do we got? Are they drowners? Yep. Yeah, Alright. Let's put my oil on. Ooh, fancy new music. Ah, uh, maybe not. God, they have so much help. Even with the oil, they like don't die. My sword sucks. What's going on here? I want to try this. I oh, know. Then I got rid of the alternate mode. Alright, 
but we did not clear it. There's more over here, apparently. Oh, good. We get a fast travel here. It's fantastic. Oh, it's a bilge hag. Ah, got the poop on me. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> it's still twitching in the back. <laughs> Area liberated. Its populace has returned. Hey, there's a merchant here. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Greetings. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Oh, I would love a freaking like scimitar. That'd be so cool. Oh, oh, what did I just buy? Oh God, I just bought this crap. Fourteen of them? Ugh, sell it back. Oh. Well, whatever. I just wasted money. It's fine. Wasn't gonna do anything with it anyway. Alright. Farewell. Farewell. Sort of armor. I don't even know why I'm bothering looking, but we'll take a look. New moon armor. It's more armor. Oh wow, it's actually really high resistance to slashing. 20% critical hit damage bonus is nice. Critical hit chance. Gotta say, it is pretty good. Wait. Oh, you don't, oh, that's what's going on with my bleed. I have to actually get them to Grandmaster to unlock the bonuses. I did not... I knew I had to upgrade them, but I didn't know I had to get them all the way to, to Grandmaster. Well, that explains why my bleed is not looking all that impressive. What was the other bonus? Oh, and then you get more bleeds from Adrenaline. Yeah, so I'm really missing out on... Like, there's basically no reason for me to be wearing this stuff right now, to be honest. Until I get those bonuses. So, yeah, that explains a lot. My my bleed has been at base level. And I'm trying to go down. There we go. Just a heads up, you'll need a lot of money for a trail. I have a ton of money, Shane. I have an absurd amount of money. I think we're good. All right, uh, so let me take a look. He wanted me to meet him there. What if you explore the rest of this island if it just cuts off here? A question for the next stream. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, wrap things up right here. So let's save game. And yeah, like I said, really, really enjoying the DLC so far. Hope it uh, continues 
to be this good. Uh, so yeah, I uh, have not... Actually, I think the stream schedule this week is going to be the same. Or for this upcoming week is, is going to be the same as it was for this week with one exception. Um, so we'll go ahead and plan to do Final Fantasy on Monday. And then um, Wednesday we'll do The Expanse. And then Saturday we'll be back here on The Witcher. Thank you all for coming. Hope you had fun. And I will see you all next time.